I'm Dr. Roger, and this question is from the October 2020 U.S. exam calculator section. We have a graph of heart rate in beats per minute against minutes for the average of a group of people exercising from time 5 to time 15 on this graph. And the question is, how many minutes after the exercise period ended for the average heart rate to, to first return to the average before the exercise period began. Now this graph is actually hard to read, harder on their picture than on mine, but before the exercise period began the average was just below 70 and after the exercise period ended it looks to me like it goes just below 70 at minute 24. There's a little bit of ambiguity because of the thickness of the line and the fuzziness of the print uh, or the graphic, but it looks to me like minute 24. It might be as late as minute 27, which leaves me squeamish between C and D until I read the question carefully. The question says, how many minutes after the exercise period ended? So that's not since minute zero, that's minute 15 to minute 24 and 24 minus 15 is 9. Even if I was concerned and thought it might be closer to 27, 15 to 27 would be 12, and it looks like even if it's near 27, it's a little before, so that would round to the choice 9. This is a bit of an awkward, ambiguous question, but Choice A, nine minutes, should be the right answer. College Board rarely gives you questions like this where even reading it carefully and looking at the graph carefully, it gets down to we're not really sure about the thickness of the line, but this is one of those we're really not sure, but even if it's close to minute 27, it's just before 27, so it's just under 12 minutes, so choice A is the closest to the correct answer that makes it the best answer. College Board typically does test you multiple times on reading graphs like this and interpreting those graphs. So make sure you get a lot of practice with this topic and come back soon for my next SAT video. With math, there's always more.